Hello there, everybody. I'm Nasalei 409, and this is Eternatus. Look at how good I am. Look, I got shields. Oh, that's beams. Oh, man, puppers. They're here. Spoilers, by the way. Spoilers, by the way, for Poking Man Sword and Shield. Oh, boy, they fuse together into one combination tool. The Shored, or Sweeled. I like how this is supposed to be some sort of reveal of some kind, as if these Pokemon aren't on the cover of the fucking game. That's what I never got about this. It's always like, oh, look at the big strong Pokemon. And it's like, they're on the cover. Like, this guy, this guy was a genuine surprise here. I didn't know that this was happening. Zacian's Intrepid Sword, Attack Rose, Zamazenta's Dauntless Shield, Zamazenta's Defense Rose, Eternatus's Pressure. Alright, so here's the thing, I've managed to deduce the fact that Eternatus is Dragon Flying, so basically, Blizzard, check this shit out, check this shit out, check this shit out, check this shit out. Don't howl. Let's spooty ya- oh, that benefits me. That benefits everybody. Since when does Howl benefit everybody? I thought it just benefited you. Huh. Oh, very nice. Very nice. The screens. Max Warm Mind. Why are you using a dragon? At oh, boy, double. Oh, hey, the, the sheep survived. Isn't that fun? Allies attack fell. Hop, that did nothing. Now behold, Spooty. How do you... Oh, yeah, someone you mentioned their names. All right, Spooty, Blizzard, here we go. Fuck yeah, missed. Okay, fine, I should have set up the hail in the first place. Behemoth Blade. That was pretty anime right there. I feel like I'm watching Naruto! Does that... That better... Okay. That did nothing. Once I get my hail set up, though. Y'all gonna be. Y'all gonna be. Frightful. Stat changes and abilities of other Pokemon. Don't. Ho, ho, don't fucking. Do okay. Super. Oh, yeah. It's like Steel Fairy or some shit, isn't it? The sunlight. That ain't right. Nice. Right, so check this shit out. Check this shit out. Hail. I, Spooty, forgot how to use Aurora Veil, or whatever. Whatever the fuck the attack was. Because of, uh... What attack did I replace it with? Uh, let me... Quiver Dance, that's what it was. But yeah, so basically, Hail's up now. So assuming it doesn't use Max Flare again, and fucking... Fucking... Put the sun up then I should be good to go. Don't use... Come on, use use Max Warm Mind on fucking Dub Wool again. I know these animations are supposed to be, like, cool, but really, this just takes a while. I just want to battle. It's taking so fucking long. You abs... You actual hoe. I spent the past two and a half minutes trying to set up with Spooty. And and you just do that to me? I am... I am... I am offended. Professionally. And personally. This is... This is bullshit. This is absolute fucking bullshit. But it's okay, because Marie is gonna come in. I've deduced that it's Dragon-type. And what I'm gonna do is... I'm, I'm, I'm gonna... I'm gonna hit him with that Gleam. That dazzling gleam, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I say that he's dragon type. I think Behemoth Blade and Behemoth Bash are fairy type, and they haven't been doing super effective damage, so. I don't actually know. Yeah, just yeah, just use fucking howl and then and then light screen. I have done literally fucking nothing this battle except bring up hail for one turn. Do not. Oh, do not. You are. 
Oh! Oh! Hell yeah. Here we fucking go. Here we fucking go. Marie's gonna do it. Marie's gonna fucking do it. Bye, devil. Here we fucking go. The Gleam! Okay, it is not dragon flying type. What fucking type is this thing? Uh, well, Marie's gonna fucking die, so how about we send out Bobbit? Because Bobbit has more special defense, I think. I don't actually know. This is bullshit. Did the light screen wear off? Hell yeah, Bobbit. Why can't all of my... Okay. Why can't all of my fucking max raid battle partners be as useful as these fuckers? Max ooze. Bobbit! It's okay, Bobbit is indestructible. See, look at that shit. Look at that shit. Look at that motherfucking shit. What? So it's not flying type. Is it steel type? No. No, it can't be steel type. It resisted my fucking... It resisted my fire attacks. What fucking type is this thing? Okay, okay. Oh god, my joykins. Oh god, I, I went to sit them on my lap, except my pants are too low friction, so they fell off. Okay, okay. Let me fucking... Let me notepad this bitch. Let me fucking... I'm playing on my left monitor, so the notepad fucking did a thing. Okay, so. Fucking... God damn it. So it resists bug and fire. It's weak to... High horsepower is ground, right? Resists bug, fire, weak to ground. What fucking type is this thing? So let me let me go over what 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 resists bug, all right? You got fighting. You got steel. It can't be steel because it also resists fire. So it should be, at least be neutral to fire. I don't fucking know. One of these guys is going to actually kill it. Yeah, here we go. It do, nope. Okay. I don't fucking know what type this is. Yeah, thank you, Hop. Okay, I have no fucking idea what type this is. Uh, I'm pretty sure I am literally guaranteed to catch it, so let us put it into a fancy ball. Fancy ball. Here we go. I'm gonna figure out what type this is, and then I'm gonna feel real silly. That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, with a cutscene like this, you basically... You, you, you're guaranteed to get this Pokemon. You get this Pokemon for free. There is no fucking way that it can actually break out after this. Literally no fucking way. This is way too cinematic. Game Freak is way too into making their shit like this. Yeah. What did I fucking tell you? Luxury Ball Eternatus. I got the demons. Oh, look at that. It's the souls of the damned. They're free at last. These two fucking dogs are here, too. Alright, bye, dogs. Bye. Okay, bye, dogs. Okay, bye, dogs. Okay, bye. Okay, bye, dogs. The dogs are gone. Bubble's not gone, though. Right, Bubble? Here, let me... Let me fucking... Three days later. Hell yeah, looking fly in the hotel. I got a mega demon in my back pocket. When am I going to be able to nickname Eternatus?
So Chairman Rose turned himself in there, never thought I'd see live to see the day. He awoke Eternatus and nearly caused a catastrophe for the entire region. You reap what you sow, I say. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, fuck, excuse me. By the way, you like you like my girl here? I picked out only the greatest of clothes. I grabbed this fucking fluffy coat because I figured it would be warm and it's it's cold in some areas and honestly I'm kind of digging it so I, I just sort of kept it. Should probably change out of the fucking Uggs though. I kind of like the Uggs though. I kind of like the look. Whatever. I don't know about you but I'll sleep like the day. Everyone's still talking about what happened but at least things are back to normal now. We really did defeat Eternatus together with Zamazenta and Zacian. And still Lee's, well, he's being Lee, insisting on having a championship match with you today. Is a bit much, isn't it? You sure you're up for it? I'm not even too sure about him. He was out cold and hurt pretty badly himself during that all that mess. I do understand how it feels, though. Feels like he's been waiting forever to get... So come on, the match will be a winning state anywhere else. Do I get to... Hello? Yeah, no, I just, I don't get to nickname Eternatus. That's stupid. Poison Dragon. Yeah, that would do it. Really? Ah, whatever. They they changed. So so here's the deal. Here's the deal, right? There are herbs that you can get that effectively just change your Pokemon's nature. So getting a getting a bad nature doesn't really mean anything nowadays. Uh, please review your name and address for form 1099. Okay. Uh, if everything looks good, then you're all set. Yeah, I... I should be all set. Those are correct. I've reviewed them. I want to say that's... That's a fucking email that I already got. Eh, whatever. Uh... Uh, what the fuck was I doing? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sword and Shield IV Calc. Eternatus. Plus Spadef. Or no, plus Speed minus Spadef. Characteristic likes to thrash about. I think that's a good one. Uh, level 60, 256, 125. Uh, one... 137. Weird. It's more physically defensive than it is physically offensive. Uh, Spat is 190. Spadef is 117. And Speed is 1, 182. Calculate. Alright, so perfect HP, perfect attack, perfect defense. Pretty shitty speed. Uh, okay, special attack and special defense. Looking like uh, 31, 31, 31... 19, 19 again, and then 9. Those are those are looking like those are the IVs. But again, even the fucking IVs don't really matter. Honestly, the only thing that matters at this point is whether or not your Pokemon has a hidden ability. Because you can fucking hyper-train your Pokemon, fix up its IVs. You can fucking fix the Pokemon's nature with the goddamn fancy curry herbs. Oh, okay. With the fancy curry herbs. You can just, you can change fucking anything. Okay, so now let's go. Let's go fuck up the champion. Let's go fuck up the. It's not there. I forgot what the layout of the city was like. Uh, where? Oh right, it's on the. Okay, I see. I remember how this city is laid out. I 100% remember how this city is laid out. Do I have enough full restores, though? That's the question. Ah, god, fuck, fuck off. I really don't like how you have, like, a very, a very shitty turn radius with this bike. You sort of get the same issue that you did in, in uh, like, Red Dead Redemption and GTA games and shit, where, uh, fucking, you know, you're trying to go into a doorway trying to walk into a fucking doorway and then you're all like okay into the doorway and then and then fucking you try to walk into the doorway and you're like in, into the into the doorway and you're just like oh man you try to walk into the doorway uh moral of the story is it's hard to walk into doorways in those kinds of games 
because they they oh hey I get to save here okay so let's save here I'll sweep his entire fucking team with Spooty and then we'll win I believe this is the actual championship match. I started recording the previous championship match, but then the game was all like, Oh! Demons! <laughs> oh. Hey, how's it going? Hey, how's it going? My matches are always sold out, but this, I've never seen a crowd this wild. Everyone knows what you did for us this week, Alex. You're the one who caught Eternatus and saved the future of the Galar region. A real hero who battled along the legendary Pokemon Zacian and Zamazenta. I couldn't have dreamed of a better challenger to help increase my winning streak. Now that I've seen what kind of strength you possess as the greatest of challengers, crushing you into the dirt will show everyone just a true, true, true strong and trampant. Come on, let's make this a final match that'll go in Galar's history. No match will change Galar forever. We're gonna have an absolute champion time. Dab. Your fucking battle theme better be good. The fucking Elite Four, or the Championship Finals theme was fucking garbage. Which sucks, because the Gym Leader theme is so good. D his entire face compressed there. Okay, so, so looking like the Spooty Sweep is not going to happen immediately. But that's okay. It's one of the duties of the champion to get the crowd fired up. That's why I took my cape off. Okay, so... No, wait, that's ghost type. How did I forget? How did I forget that Aegis Slash was ghost type for a second? I don't know. Point is, crunk. Alright, what you got? What the fuck you got? He about a chain. Ooh, that was cool. I like that. That was a nice. A special attack and an Aegis Slash? What the fuck are you doing? What the fuck are you doing with your life? Bruh. Can I just say how incredibly disappointed I am? What? Well, yeah, you've got, like, a defensive powerhouse. Of, I have to go for the super effective attack. Hello? Shit, what did that just say? Did it say Rhyhorn? Rhyperior, I think. I keep skipping through that. I wish it would just say what the next Pokemon was, because I keep smashing A because the battles are so fucking slow in this. Yeah, Rhyperior. I did read that right. Ooh, do I want to sweep with Chungle? The answer is yes, but I don't think I can. Heat Crash! Yeah, Chungle's indestructible. He'll be fine. Yeah, see? See what I mean? Hell yeah. Chungle. Bobbit, Spooty. Haxorus. Now, nah. okay. So now, now the Spooty Sweep. Now for the Spooty Sweep. It's spooty time, motherfucker. Here we fucking go. Okay. So, we do this, uh, no. Or wait. Yeah. Yeah. That's the issue, is that I know hail, but at the same time... Fucking... Like... Max, Max Hailstone creates hail, so, like, what's the point in knowing hail? I don't know. Spooty sweep, here we go. Or, you're a little bitch. How about, how about, how about that? How about that? Have you considered... Are you fucking serious? Oh my god, shut the fuck up. All right, so basically, Leon's a hoe. We've determined this. Just, ah. Uh. Fucking, Iron Tail has like a 20% accuracy too, so that was, that was bullshit. Oh, Alex, he's, Marie is weak to Iron Tail too, but it's so.
This is what I hate about the new Pokemon. They're all slow as shit. <laughs> like, seriously, Marie has very little speed. The boys are the... In fact, the boys. Yeah, the boys. The boys. All right, so check this out. 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 No retreat. Are you fucking with me? Okay, um... So, who's the tankiest Pokemon that I have? 103... Chungle's 131, but... Uh... 172... Yeah, Krunk. Krunk is best equipped to take an Outrage. God! Fucking Haxorus. Okay, yeah, Max Revive on Marie. I kind of want to just stay in. He's going to be confused after this turn. Or he's not going to be confused on this turn, because why would the game decide to give me something nice? I like how the strategy for making... The, the fucking champion difficult in Pokemon games has always been just, hey, pseudo-legendary. Uh, it knows outrage. <laughs> it has a mental herb, doesn't it? Doesn't. Okay. Fun. Alright. Uh, so we hit it with a lunge. Okay, well, it's stuck in Outrage, so basically, Marie can go in and win. Basically, Marie can do this now. It's stuck doing Outrage. Marie is Fairy-type. Marie wins. This is, this is the thing. I win. I win now. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's right. And you're confused. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Get gleamed on. Motherfucker. Okay, now. Now I'm good. Drag up. Okay, Ghost Dragon. Whatever. He's not faster than me. So basically, basically, Dazzling Gleam. Oh! Yeah, that was that bullshit friendship thing. Yep. I hate that friendship mechanic. I'm thankful that it helps me this one time, but I hate it because it feels like cheating. Alright, Marie's good. Oh, hey, and Marie gained some HP from leveling up. Nice. Uh, Rillaboom. That's the grass starter. Alright. Oh! Oh! Oh, so Leon has the third starter. That's that's what's going on here. God, I fucking hate it. Oh, God, it's so bad. God, it's so fucking bad. I hate all monkey Pokemon. Alright. Shoutouts to fucking... Shoutouts to Sonya for giving me, like, 20 billion max revives. Uh, yeah, Krunk. Max Revive Crunk. You don't know any dark attacks, do you? Are you fucking serious? Well, I might still be faster, so... Psychic? I don't know. Or, or you know Knock Off. That works. Why didn't you do that in the first place? Why didn't he do that in the first place? My omelet coin. Hey. So I send out Krunk. Krunk, being a new Pokemon, is slow as shit. But this Rillaboom is also slow as shit because it is also a new Pokemon. And it's faster than I am. I... Bruh. He was expecting to be slower than me. Man, I wish I had Leech Life. Alright, use a full restore. Or not, use Endeavor. I see how it is. But yeah, I fucking hate all the new starters. They're all fucking awful. There are so many good Pokemon in this generation. 
like, my team, for the first time in a long time, is entirely new Pokémon, because there are so many good Pokémon in this generation. But the starters are not any of them. The starters are fucking Garbo. Okay, so. So basically, he's gonna Gigantamax his Charizard. Um. Because Game Freak has a Charizard fetish. And they fucking love their goddamn thing. I do not have anything to deal with fire types. Oh my fucking god. Oh, this never came up earlier. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, I accidentally hit left trigger. Because fucking when you're in the menus, anything counts as the A button. Legitimately, I hit ZL. I think ZR also acts as the A button. That's annoying. Yeah, this didn't come up during the fire gym because I still had my starter on my team, but I boxed my starter. I don't have anything to deal with fire types. Oh, fuck. Alright, well. Rip. Oh, Jesus. Okay, Krunk is down. Yeah, that's right, you're buffeted. Oh, wait a minute! I have something to deal with fire types. The motherfucking boys! And they are faster than Charizard. Are they actually faster than Charizard? I need to I need to peep this shit. Alright, level 60 boys. 111 speed, there's no fucking way he's faster than Charizard. God damn it. Oh man. Let's go, Pokedex. Okay, Sword and Shield. Cerebi.net's weird. If you're on the Sword and Shield IV calculator, the link to the Sword and Shield Pokedex doesn't exist. That's weird. Okay, yeah, Charizard. Uh, Gigantamax Charizard has a base speed of 100. No. Not Twitch Prime. I didn't mean to click on that shit. Okay, where is... Phalanx? Base speed is 75. Fuck. Okay, so there's no fucking way. There is literally no fucking way. And yet, there's a chance. There's a chance. There wasn't a chance. Don't fucking do that. Oh my... Um... Okay, so Marie, base, so basically I'm gonna be spamming Max Revives because this is bullshit. Because fucking Iron Tail hit. Yeah, I know, I'm worried about you being able to battle well too, but you know, that's just the world we live in right now. Uh, Bobbit? Bobbit might be able to take one hit. You know, a grass attack? What fucking, it's Solar Beam. God damn it. I can understand how this guy got to be the champion. This is actually genuinely... So, like, the previous champions in the other games have been fucking pushovers that just die immediately. This guy is actually kind of okay. Alright. So, he's definitely a special attacker, so Bobbit comes in, and what Bobbit does is... Bo oh, Bobbit lives. I forgot. Only three turns of Dynamax. Okay. Okay. Okay, so Bobbit comes in. Bobbit comes in with a Calm Mind. Fire Blast? Bobbit can take a Fire Blast. Easy. Alright. Uh. No, one Calm Mind isn't enough to let me survive another fucking thing. Okay. Posh. Fire Blast again, because why would he ever miss? Yeah, that, yeah, I was right. I just barely had enough 
to survive one. Alright, another Calm Mind. And then that'll get me plus 80. So that means Stored Power will start being more effective. And then Psychic. And then I heal up again, and then I use Stored Power, and then I Victory. That is the strat. This music isn't bad, but it's not good. It's like, yeah, it's a champion theme. Yes. I was about to say, how the fuck are you hitting all these fire blasts? Jesus. Anyway, uh, so yeah, I'm at plus four, right? Yeah. Stored power gains 20 base damage for every single stat up that you have. I have two Calm Minds, so that's four, so I have plus 80, so this has a base power of 100 right now. Yeah, that's right, bitch. Stored power. Bazoom. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. The power of using Calm Mind. Y'all remember, y'all remember Clefairy? Y'all remember, remember Clefable? Magic Bounce. Stored power, Calm Mind, Clefable? Yeah. She's back. With a vengeance. Except it's some kind of weird sheepy goat anthro thing. I don't know. And the survivors get points. <laughs> uh, I defeated Champion Leon. Yay. My time as champion is over, but what a champion time it's been. Thank you for the greatest battle I've ever had. He says sarcastically because I just spammed revives. Well, I didn't spam revives. Look, I'm not saying my team composition was good, okay? I'm saying that my team composition was enough to beat shitty AI trainers. What's... Oh, there we go. What? Why is he holding out a Pokeball? Oh, Munchlax. Why is he holding out a Poke... Congratulations, Alex. Why is he holding... You've beaten the unbeatable champion, making you the new champion for the region. I did it. Spooty did it. You've become a first-rate trainer, all right? I offer me my heartfelt congratulations. Uh, do I have an email yet? No. It's time we adults start working on improving the here and now for the sake of what's to come. And you, addict, what you ought to do now is believe in yourself and your partner Pokemon and keep blasting ahead. In order to create the bright future we all hope to see. Why are Marnie and fucking Betty still there? Not still there. Why the fuck are Marnie and Betty next to each other? Betty doesn't fucking like anyone. Is that just a coincidence? Look at those flat-ass textures that they used for all the people. I bet you can't wait to see what kind of future kid with this kind of strength might bring about. I sure can't. Let's watch and see what she can do. Yay. Pokemon Shield. Shigeru Omori. James Turner. You did a good job, James. Most of the Pokemon are pretty good. Except for most of the ones that you're showing on screen right now. Look, man, I don't like Toxitricity. Okay, I'm sorry. It's weird, and it's like... It's like a scaly thing. I'm not a huge fan. Is that a shiny one and, and a regular one? No, it's a fucking... The fuck was it? It's, it's got some weird, like, powered up and powered down forms. I don't know. This... This is not a good end video. This showcases literally everything that's wrong with Pokemon nowadays. It's so like, yeah, look, there's a tiny monkey starter that turned into an anthropomorphic monkey drummer. You got a little lizard babby that evolves into a fucking lizard scaly boy. And then you've got Kiss. 
Like, why can't the Pokemon just... Like, why can't animals stay animals, is basically what I'm saying. What was wrong with... In the older games, when you got a lizard starter, and it remained a lizard? You know, it didn't turn into a fucking anthro... Fucking onceler tumbler bait scaly motherfucker. What was what was wrong with the old Pokemon design? Like Game Freak keeps fucking doing Gen One pandering, where it's like, hey, remember Gen One? Remember fucking Gen One? Yeah, Charizard. Charizard's cool, right? Meanwhile, you know what Charizard wasn't? A fucking anthro goddamn lizard scaly motherfucker. Like, seriously. Seriously, they keep throwing Charizard in, their, on, in our face. Meanwhile, they're they're making other starters that are just fucking garbage. Like Sobble, they, they show off the new starters, and it's like, yeah, we got Sobble, we got Grookey, we got uh, Scorbunny. It's like, yeah, I don't like Scorbunny because it's like a Looney Tune, and I don't like that. And I don't like Grookey because I hate all monkey Pokemon unconditionally, except for Mankey. Mankey's okay. Mankey's like half, pig's the, half pig, though, so... Mankey gets a pass for that. Uh, but aside from that, I hate all monkey Pokemon. Yes, that includes Apom. Mankey only gets a pass because it's like a pig monkey. Right? It's not It's not like, oh, Mankey's okay because it's a Gen 1 and I have nostalgia for it. Man no, Mankey gets a pass because Mankey's like a pig monkey. Apom doesn't get a pass. If we're talking nostalgia reasons, Apom realistically would get a pass, but no. No, Apom in the fucking trash. Uh, Ambipom in the trash. Chimchar in the fucking trash. The Gen 5 Elemental Monkeys in the super trash. Those ones are the worst of all. The fucking Gen 7 Monkeys. Orangaroo and Passimian in the trash. Owie Yuki. You telling me that Eevee was voiced by Rootin' Tootin' Shootin' Doji? That's crazy. It's fucking crazy. Fucking about to come out with a new fucking poison, poison type evolution called Oneon or some shit like that. Called fucking Rashomonion, some shit like that. But yeah, uh, overall, pretty enjoyable game. I definitely had fun with it. I wouldn't. I, I don't regret the money that I spent on it. Uh, the game was very rushed. It is very obvious that this game was incredibly rushed. Uh, the early portions of the game, pretty damn good. But then once you start to get past like the fourth gym leader, it's obvious that the game, like they just they ran out of time, right? So it just sort of shoves you along, like, hey, hey, finish the rest of the gyms. We have to finish the game right fucking now. Like, the gym challenges just start to get worse and worse. The last gym challenge is straight up just three double battles. You enter a room, Raihan's standing in the corner looking at you, and then you just do three double battles, and that's it. Like, the first couple gym challenges were like, yeah, there's a fucking... You you heard Wulu. Or like, yeah, yeah, you do a fucking water puzzle with, with walls that block and shit. Or like, you catch Pokemon. It's a Pokemon catch-off. And your partner Pokemon, sort of, not really your partner, like your ally on your team, attacks you to stop you from catching the Pokemon. It's it's cool. It's genuinely innovative. And then, as you get later and later, the gym challenges are just fucking rushed, and there's no fucking plot going on. You spend the entire game wondering, when when is the plot? Is something going to happen? And then you get to the fucking end. You get to the very fucking end of the game. And then it's like, hey, Chairman Rose is evil now. It's like, okay. First off, that's incredibly fucking obvious. It's so fucking obvious, so fucking trite, so fucking bad, that I figured they wouldn't do it because that would be the worst possible thing they could do. And they did it. Congratulations, champion. I've got a little something for you, a celebration. Knew it. Ah, God, it's just... And like, Professor Magnolia here. She shows up at the beginning, and then you never fucking see her again until, like, three-quarters of the way through the game when she's all like, Oh, hey, Sonya, looks like you're the professor now. And then Sonya gets the jacket, and then she just fucks right off again. And it's like, what? what? The gym leaders are much better written as characters in that you actually like them. They are actual people with personalities. But 
the story in general for this game is fucking garbage. Even by Pokemon standards, it's it's so fucking bad. Uh, especially after Sun and Moon and Ultra Sun Ultra Moon, where the writing or the, the fucking story writing for that game was actually pretty spectacular. I hated Sun and Moon because they were incredibly fucking linear and easy as hell. Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon were just about as linear, but they weren't as easy. So it's a bit better. But uh, it's just it's just so. Ah, oh, just, ah, oh, man. <clears throat> Causing trouble, uh, Dynamax Phenomenon. Do what you believe is best, yes. But yeah, it's just, ah. Oh, the story in this game is so fucking bad. And it's just, it's just so obvious. It's so obvious that this game was rushed. Game Freak needs to stop releasing Pokemon games every year. Pokemon should not be a yearly franchise. Yearly franchises are fucking awful. Because... Unless you have multiple studios working on games and you can cycle in and out so that each game from each studio has an ample amount of time, like they do with Call of Duty, right? They've got three different fucking game development studios working on Call of Duties so that each Call of Duty gets a full three years of game development time, right? And that's fucking great. But with this, it's just Game Freak. Each game gets, like, one year of development time. Well, maybe maybe not quite, uh, obviously not the entire studio, not the entire company has to work on one project at once, right? So this was probably in development for like two and a half years using only part of uh, Game Freak's team. But then that fucking shows because they were talking about how they didn't have the manpower to put all the Pokemon in the game and the art assets in a lot of areas are kind of... I work with the Nintendo Switch. I've worked with Switch hardware, so I'm sympathetic to the people who have to develop it or to develop for the system, but, uh, still, like, there's, there's a lot of lack of polish with this game, just in general, and that's not even counting the fact that Pokemon hasn't been streamlined at fucking all, ever. Like, everything about this game is jank, the battles take way too fucking long, because there's no, nothing about it is streamlined, it's just like, oh boy, you pick a move, and then you wait 35 seconds, and then you can pick another move. The animations are slow, there's pausing all over the fucking place. Uh, whenever, like, just as an example, a really easy fucking streamline fucking performance, not, not performance optimization, a really easy way that they could streamline battles and make things just better in general would be to, uh, you know when there's hail out or a sandstorm out and every single Pokemon gets hit? It would be so fucking easy for them to just, you know, if all four Pokemon get buffeted by hail, then all four of them take damage at once, and it says, oh, some Pokemon got buffeted by hail, and that's it. But instead, instead, the fucking game's all like, oh, Badoo, this Pokemon got buffeted by hail. 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 And they just do the same fucking animation four times in a row instead of doing one animation for all four Pokemon. And it's just... It's just so fucking bad. They genuinely need to spend more time actually improving the game itself and not just making the new fucking game. But they can't do that because Game Freak's one fucking studio and somehow Pokemon turned into a yearly franchise where a new main series game has to come out every single fucking year. And that's, that's bad for the series. That's bad for the franchise. Legitimately. It's just, it's not good. There's, what am I doing? The Galar region is mine to explore. Okay, so I'm fucking done, basically. 29-29. Neat. And it's just, it's just so fucking, it's just so fucking bad. Ugh. I just, like, I want this series to be better. It really should be better. It's the literally the largest multimedia franchise on the face of the planet. But instead of getting the love and attention it deserves, they've got one understaffed game studio doing uh, what appears to be half-assed work. Like, people complain about these trees. I, I honestly don't give a shit about these trees. These trees are fine. Eh, whatever. Like, this wild area is pretty cool, but it's honestly kind of small. It's a lot bigger than anything I would have ever expected from Pokemon, but, like, it's just... Pokemon, ooh, fossilized Drake. Rare bone. 
Bottle cap. Ooh, nice. Lagging tail. Metal coat. And that's all. Alright. What do you got? I've heard that you get more watts from the geysers when you become champion. Smooth rock. Rare bone. Shiny stone. Hard stone. Damn it. There was one time... Okay, so these normally give 30. 200! Fuck yes! Yeah, you get a lot more watts from things when you uh, become champion. Since the game's like, hey, you're playing the post-game, there's no reason to make this a slog. But yeah, uh, just a general lack of uh, streamlining, lack of UX improvements. Uh, fucking... Trainers generally don't do the Pokemon thing anymore, where if they're if they're walking from point A to point B and they're an NPC, they'll be all like, doot, 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 stop, turn, doot, 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 stop, turn, doot, 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 stop, turn, doot, 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 and it's obvious that they're just walking on a fucking grid. It's just, mm. Like, Pokemon should be so much better than it currently is. And this isn't even about Dexit. Um... Honestly, I don't mind that Pokemon don't show up in this game. I just wish that there was, like, a central hub that I could have them. Like, if Pokemon Home was low-key, like, a casual Pokemon game and not just a box storage service, then that would be fine. You know what I mean? Like, Pokemon Home comes out, and you can customize your trainer, and you can sort of go around and catch Pokemon and trade and battle and do all that shit. If you could do that with Pokemon Home, that would be fine. Uh, fucking not having the national decks in its entirety in every single game wouldn't be nearly as much of an issue if there was just, like, one main central Pokemon hub game like that. But to the best of my knowledge, Pokemon Home is just gonna be, like, a box storage service with, you know, fucking trading, I guess. I don't know. Oh, God, I don't want to fight that guy. Where the fuck's the Dusty Bowl? Or rather, where's the giant overhang rock? I have been trying to get a dino fossil for so goddamn long so I can get a dinovish. Because it looks the least like a fucking mistake. It's still a mistake, but it looks the least like a mistake. And supposedly, you can get... You can get additional fossils from the rocks underneath this... Uh, let me get those watts, boy from the rocks underneath this stone arch. Right fucking here. And there's nothing. There's a second rock there. Oh. Bag of stardust. And that's all. Uh, but yeah. It's not about the length of the game, it's just about the fact that this game was very obviously a rushed game. It's very obviously not like a fully finished thing. They got it to the point where it was functional, it was passable, it would pass certification, shit like that, and then they just sort of released it, even though this, like, the game in its current form should not have been released. There should have been a lot more going on with the actual plot. Uh, there should have been a lot more, exp this wild area should be bigger. Uh, as it stands, it's basically just like one large continuous route which is nice. I, I like this area. It's cool, but fucking... I don't know. I feel like there should just be more. You know what I mean? Like, the largest fucking multimedia franchise on the face of the planet. Literally. Literally. There is no intellectual property bigger or more valuable than Pokemon. And then we get, we get these fucking... I don't want to call them half-assed, because they are very full-assed, but they don't get the development time that they deserve. They don't get the uh, the amount of effort put into them they, that they deserve. Not that the developers aren't trying. Uh, they are, obviously. I, I'm, a, I'm a game developer myself, so I understand. This is not a product of lazy game developers. This is a product of the game not getting enough time and not having enough manpower put into it. That's, that's what this is. That said, it's still a good game. I enjoyed it. Um... It just, it should be better for what it is. You know? Fucking... I don't know. Uh, if I had to rate it on a 1 to 10 scale, it'd be a fucking... 
Six. Six and a half, seven, something like that. And uh, keep in mind, I actively try to try to not do the whole grade school thing where it's like, oh, if it's a 7 out of 10, then that's okay. No, 7 out of 10 is above average. 5 out of 10 is average. So, you know, definitely an above average game, but not an amazing game, not a perfect game, not a spectacular game. It's just, it's a good Pokemon game. I enjoyed it better than Sun and Moon. And that's about it. Uh. So yeah, I'm going to go around and do shit in this game now. Uh, I hope you enjoyed Spooty destroying the champion. Spooty did all the work. Spooty is the best, number one. Praise be to Spooty. So why the fuck? I know that I know that Chungle. Uh, excuse me. I know that Chungle here. Oh shit! I got a I got a text from Boss. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, well, um, yeah, whatever. Uh, basically, I went into work today, except uh, fucking... Yeah, so I went to work today, uh, except I couldn't get in because I, I didn't have a fucking key to get into the office, and it was like the day after Thanksgiving, so everybody was showing up late, and so I was like, ah, I'll, just, I'll just go fucking home. Anyway, uh, that's going to be all for now, everybody. Uh, until next time. I'm not Slave 49. This is Pokemon Chungle. Um, I know that Chungle has a Gigantamax form. I don't know how you actually get that. Do you have to increase the, the Dynamax level? Yeah. So Krunk has a Dynamax level of 5. Do you need to have a certain Dynamax level in order to get Gigantamax? I don't know. So yeah, that's going to be all for now, everybody. Uh, until next time, my name is Jeff. Uh, good night.